meditation for who you are meant to be by Ayan Farwar. Your other half is not the one you love. It is you in another time, yet in the same space. It is you when you are not. Khalil Kipran Hi, this is Ayan Farwar. I'm glad you're here. If it's your first time here, this channel is about self-realization and honoring our life's purpose and meaning. If you're interested in these topics, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay connected. Today, I would like to invite you to join me for a guided meditation this meditation is dedicated to the person you're meant to be in this world, your best version of being, and the ideal image of you in a not-so-distant future. Before we start, it would be useful to clarify what we are here to experience, so you decide whether or not this would be something beneficial or inspiring for you to try. If you wish, you can skip this introduction and jump directly to our meditation using the timestamp I provided in the description below. Our ideal image of being is within you and me and is unique to us and the life we are in. I talked about this ideal image in one of my earlier presentations linked here and why it's important for us to recognize and honor it. This ideal image of you and me is not a hypothetical possibility in an ideal world. It is a real potentiality within us that can come to realization in our destiny. To fulfill your true destiny, you first need to know what your life is all about in this world. Who is this person that you're destined to be? Are you able to imagine it? How is it like? What qualities this ideal image of you embodies? You may already have some ideas about who this ideal image of you is. But if you don't, or you're not certain, you need to go on a mission to search for it. So our best version and ideal image of being is not somewhere out there in the external world, but it is rather inside us waiting to be discovered. And the only way we can discover it is to imagine it and look for ways to connect to it. I hope by doing this meditation you get inspired to imagine your ideal image of being and establish a lasting connection and an inner dialogue with it. Your ideal image is your ideal future self. So by imagining it, calling it, and recognizing it, you are able to connect to its energy and become more inspired to move forward toward it and ultimately merge with it in not so distant future. This meditation is only one way to start noticing and imagining your ideal image of self in the future. You can also do that by starting a journal and write letters to this ideal image to let it know that you notice it and will do everything you can to bring it to reality. You can also share what desired qualities you want it to embody, the qualities that you want to invite to your life in the future. Also to let it know you're taking steps toward it and ask it to stay within you as you continue to come closer to it every day. Imagining your ideal image of being 
and writing or meditating to connect to it is the beginning of your journey toward becoming it. Now, let's begin this meditative journey together. Similar to my previous soul meditation linked here, I use first person here, because this meditation is ultimately an inner dialogue between you and your ideal version of being. So when you tune in, try to embody the words as if they come from somewhere within you. You can also repeat this meditation by improvising your messages in your own words. Improvising your meditation messages by speaking from your heart helps you become more connected to your ideal image of self. Preparation for Meditation If you are at home and comfortable, Consider smudging the room you're in by your favorite scent or aromatic candle. This could be a statement of your respect for this meditation. Sit or lay down somewhere you feel most comfortable and cozy. Take a few deep breaths to feel the air entering your lungs, filling your body with this nourishing oxygen. If it helps, try to close your eyes or soften your gaze to further descend to a state of calmness and presence inside you and away from the world outside. As you're focusing inside, ask all your feelings and thoughts to separate from you, to give you some space, so you can be fully present for this meditation. You can always get back to them later, but now is your personal time, a time when there is nothing for you to do beside being present here and now. As you're creating this space inside you, gather some light and positive energy on top of your head and direct it down to your entire body to start your meditation shortly. My ideal future self, for years I've been looking for you in this world. I searched for you wherever I went. And looked for your signs in everything I saw, in all symbols, idols and icons I found around me. I looked to find you in my kin, in everyone else I've ever respected and admired in my life. But the more I looked for you in them and out there, the less I felt connected to what I saw. The more I imagined them as you, the further I felt from you. But 
Ironically, all these years, my heart knew all along that you were not out there, but within me. My ideal self, I'm here to imagine you, to get to know you, and to tell you what I see in you. I know you can hear me, even from far in my future. I know the spirit of time still keeps us apart, but I'm here to let you know that there will also come the time when you and I become a reality together. Until then, I imagine you as me, but much lighter, peaceful, and free. I imagine you as me, but more accepting, forgiving, and open. I imagine you as me, but more positive and well-intentioned toward myself and others. I imagine you as me, but with clarity of mind, confidence and higher conviction. I imagine you as me, but more helpful, considerate and compassionate toward myself and others. I imagine you as me, but more tuned to my intuition, imagination and insights. I imagine you as me, but not as affected by how others could perceive me or judge my way of life. I imagine you as me, but learning to trust myself and my talent and creativity in fulfilling my destiny. I imagine you as me, but more aware of the value of my life and its spiritual relevance in this world. I imagine you as me, but as an image of hope and optimism for whoever I come across in life. I imagine you as me, but with many more life-promoting qualities you are meant to embody in the future. I'm just happy you're here with me, to help me imagine how it's like to be you. Imagining you brings energy and inspiration to my life. But without you becoming, I've not lived the best life intended for me. So the story of you and me can only come to reality if I continue to imagine you and find my way to you. My ideal self, I want you to be patient because I still carry some loads on my shoulder in this life. Loads of past memories and emotions I still carry inside. We 
memories that are long gone, but they're emotions that still linger within me. Emotions that make me feel small, invisible and insignificant in this life I'm in. Emotions that kept my capacity for love, passion and creativity hidden from me all these years. Emotions that blurred my vision to ignore any talents I could cultivate and share with the world. Emotions that have pushed me under the mist of self-doubt and distractions for many years to a numbing comfort of a small world I was calling life until now. But now you're awakened in my imagination. Because of you, I'm now ready to leave my numbing comfort behind, to enter a bigger world that only you can imagine. From this point on, I will let go of all negativity and doubts standing between you and me. I will take them to the top of a hill and release them into the wind. I will take them to a mountain river and let them wash away by clear waters. I will take them to a silent volcano and let them light the sacred fire of the mountain. Or I will take them to a desert and let them fly away with the dust of the earth. I'm ready to release them all because negativity and doubt can no longer define me. Because now you, my ideal self, are the one who defines me and sets the course of my life. This meditation is my small step toward you. So stay with me, inspire me, and draw me closer every day until you and I finally meet. End of meditation. Reflections. Take a deep breath, and when comfortable, open your eyes or break your gaze. But before coming back to the outside world, make a mental note of any feelings or thoughts that you now notice inside you following this meditative dialogue. The moments like these can be an opportunity to deepen your awareness of yourself and raise your consciousness.
consider writing a few lines as a journal entry, like a letter from you to your ideal image in not so distant future, to share your feelings and thoughts. You can also capture any insights you might have discovered during the experience. You can refer to these notes and insights later when you're ready to deepen your awareness and understanding of them. If you have found this meditation inspiring, please like and share it with your like-minded friends. Also, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and share your thoughts and comments so I feel encouraged to create similar contents in the future. Blessings.